Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. It's Monday, January 22nd, 2024. <laughs> and it's the afternoon. It's uh, 3 17 in the afternoon. So back in the garage, <laughs> back on uh, in the uh, garage set. <laughs> So we've got an exciting show planned for today. A really, really, it's, it's, um, the fellow's walking by. <laughs> yes, he's just staring at me. Got the garage door open. So, uh, um, anyway, um, really exciting show planned for today. Uh, it, back in the garage. It's Mayberry Day, got the Mayberry hat. Not only the Mayberry hat, but also the Mayberry sweatshirt. It's a little, little worn, weather worn. You know, been washed one too many times, but got the Mayberry sweatshirt and the Mayberry hat. So it's officially Mayberry Day in Maybe Land. <laughs> so uh, yeah, exciting show planned for today. Um, one week ago today, one week ago today, seven days ago, at this exact time, pretty much, I was cleaning my, vacuuming the car out, cleaning the car out, cleaning the windshields, all set to go to the big hospital in Tavares. I was scheduled for the OR at eight, eight, eight o'clock in the morning, and, uh, the my cardiologist was going to put in at least two stents in my right coronary artery and my left coronary artery so in the midst of my all my attempts here's my i don't know if you can see <laughs> she had she did three attempts to go through the radial artery but in the they call it the axillary artery it's uh, right here, it's twisted and convolted, or convolved, just twisted up like a roller coaster. And then as she got closer to the aortic arch, the aorta, um, I've got an aneurysm in the ascending aorta at the root of the ascending aorta near the heart. But a new discovery, flash, new discovery, flash, 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 news update. I've got a an aneurysm in the brachiocephalic artery, which is, if you have the, um, I really do need to rehearse. If this is the ascending aorta coming off of the heart, coming off of the heart here, come, coming up and around, then uh, the brachiocephalic is um, my right to the right, and it it shoots it, and it and it sends off tributaries to the carotid artery and then to the axillary artery. So, so this brachiocephalic, brachio means arm, cephalic means head. It supplies all the, all the uh, blood, it branches the blood vessels to the neck, head, face, scalp, all come up the brachiocephalic. I'll be right back. Be right back. And I'm back. Uh, <laughs> it's a busy place here. <laughs> so where was I? Oh, brachiocephalic, ascending aortic arch, brachiocephalic. So I got another aneurysm at the brachiocephalic. The root of the brachiocephalic near the heart. So... I was conscious, and she had given me very minimum sedative. I didn't even feel like she had given me a sedative at all. So anyway, um, with this uh, instrumentation coming up and through and up the aorta, or coming in through the um, ax axillary artery, then she tried the, through the groin, the, coming in through the femoral artery, the iliac, through the common iliac and up through the aorta. And that's when she discovered the second aneurysm 
And in aneurysms, your blood vessels uh, bulge such that if you think of a balloon and you keep blowing up the balloon, it's not exactly the exact analogy, but it, it'll help you, helps understand it. Uh, as you blow up the balloon, of course, naturally the wall, the walls of the balloon get thinner. So as an aneurysm gets bigger, the walls of that blood vessel become thinner, such that even the slightest tap, I mean the ever so slightest tap, will cause that uh, blood vessel to rupture. And that's instant death. So she pulled out all of the instrumentation, all of the, the, whatever, the wiring and all that, pulled that out. And they put me in recu recuperation. And I was, um, then she did another catheterization for another patient. So I rested for, oh, a good two hours. And, um, and I actually fell asleep. <laughs> I actually fell asleep. So she came back in and my car us, and as she, it's only, you know, you have drapes all around you in the front, they just pull a drape, you know, pull the drape. So she pulled the drape a little bit and I saw her and she was crying a little bit, you know, I could tell. So she came over and she held my hand for a minute and she said, um, I've done all I can for you. There's nothing more I can do for you. Um, besides the two aneurysms, uh, my aortic valve and my mitral valve are damaged. Um, the, this phenomenon called the uh, myocardial bridge, M-Y-O, Mickey Mouse, M-I-C, <laughs> M-Y-O, M-Y-O, C-A-R-D-I-A-L, bridge. But it's two words. You can look it up in um, Google if you want. Um, and normally, um, here, if this is the heart, and the heart is essentially a muscle, smooth muscle. It's not like the striding muscle of like the biceps, but it's smooth muscle. It doesn't tire. So there's a, um, say the, the right coronary artery is resting on top. But with a myocardial bridge, it's like when we made the pot holders for, for our moms when we were kids, interweaving them. Uh, you'd have the little frame and you interweave the, the uh, yarn. Well, it's very similar to that. It, the, this is, these are the muscle fibers. This is an oversimplification, of course, but every time my heart contracts or beats, it squeezes the blood vessel. In this case, it was, it's the right coronary artery, the left coronary, coronary artery, and the um, circumflex artery. And it squeezes it. So we're the muscle fiber 70 years. 70, 70 years of being squeezed, it actually flattens out that air, those that area. So I should have I should have brought I I had to start rehearsing. <laughs> I should have brought a straw. But if you have a straw and you flatten out, instead of you put a heavy book on a straw, say for a month, you put a, a lot of books on a paper straw or a plastic straw. And uh, then you take the books off and the, the straw will be flattened. However, if you were to run water, you know, th say like if you were to take a pen and put it inside the straw, the part that had been flattened, the edges, almost creates a seam so that when you put this instrument, put your pen <laughs> through the straw, in this case instrumentation, it expand, you know, it, it lifts up the artery or the straw, which you you want it to do, but where it, where the, that flattened out edge, if for want of a better term, the seam pops up and it can easily rip, easily rip. So if you do that and it rips, that's instantaneous death. So um, basically, um, 
an aneurysm grows, don't quote me, I'm working on memory. I think an aneurysm grows two tenths of a millimeter every year. Basically, you know what I mean? Basically. Um, so that's um, the growth factor. So based on that, based on uh, her clinical data, studying, you know, my uh, MRI, my scans, do, studying the, um, the catheterization she has just done, her clinical, she's my, uh, my cardiologist is 62 years old. So, you know, she's uh, clinically excellent. You know, I mean, she's, she's very wise and very smart. Book smart and clinical smart. So she said, um, basically, I uh, got basically two years and there's not much they can do about it. But I'm going to go to another cardiologist. Uh, why not? <laughs> why not? You know, uh, I just got a, something here. This is, this is, I'm in the moment here. You know, totally in the moment. Oh, what did I get here? What, did someone wrote me? Uh, it's one of those, um, uh, this wonderful message says I've just won $10 million and just, <laughs> so yeah, um, I had a lot planned. I was going to read some of, from my old, old book visions. Um, I was going to read a Psalm from the Bible. I was gonna go. This is what my dad, one of my dad's, one of my dad from my dad's comic book collection, October nineteen forty-eight. October nineteen forty-eight. Walt Disney Comics and Story, October nineteen forty-eight. Uh, one of my dad's uh, comic books, but I was gonna go over that. You know, I get picture. <laughs> I get picture. So forty-eight. My dad. Um, my dad was forty. 40, 20, 27, 20, 27, 37, 40, So my dad's 21 years old, or 20 some, he's in his 20s. And uh, he caught the tail end of World War II in the Pacific. You know, and, and I wonder if they had spinner racks back then. And I wonder, uh, well, actually it wasn't, it was, see, most sweet shop used to be called, um, was it, um, was it Henry's? But anyway, you know, they still had a sweet shop. I'm sure they had a sweet shop in Lincoln Park or a luncheonette or something. But I wonder if they had a spinner wheel. My dad, this is from my dad's comic book collection here. Not, this is one of my oldest comic books, like October 19th. I was going to review that, but I'll do that in the future. The future. Here's a, uh, from the Christmas of 1955, from the old Navy Homestead, <laughs> the old Navy Homestead, uh, 1955. I'm two years old, and uh, is Grant my grandma, Grandma Maybe, and me. And it looks like I'm wearing uh, Davy Crockett was big back then. It looks like and there's a Christmas tree in the background. It's kind of cute. It's like, uh, it's not a real clear, oh wait, I was doing better before. Let me get real close here. Yeah, that's good. There I am, there's grandma, the old maybe homestead. So this is a tree I had. Of course, if you've been following my YouTube, uh, Earl's Meadow was in the, back field and uh, it was where my great uncle Earl was going to build a home in the old maybe estate but he never he was killed in action in World War One. so we used to play baseball back there Stu George Joey my cousins Davey Eddie a lot of the neighborhood kids we had a, had a go-kart 
And I actually got thrown from the go-kart one time. <laughs> but Stu, Stu saved my life. I got, I got thrown from the go-kart. We were going so fast. But here it is. Here. There's a little uh, little fruit tree. Uh, I, I, the reflection drives me nuts. And the woods back there. The woods are all gone. They, they built these um, million-dollar mansions on postage stamp lots. And here's another one of that tree. Here's one of me. This is uh, May 23rd, 1954. So I'm not, I was born in September of 53. So I'm not even a year old. And I got a box of toys here. <laughs> the, the, the heaven, chock full of nuts, the heavenly coffee. It's filled with toys, and I'm playing with the toys here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, here I am with this little... This is... Um, for a short time, we lived in on Hazel Street in Clifton. No, this is from Madeline Avenue in Clifton. And the building next door, right nearby, is the garage. And I'm I'm about two years old. There's no date on the back. Now I think this was Hazel Street. We lived we we lived on Hazel Street for a short time. And I got the the, the little little horsey and and the cowboy. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> there I am. About two years old. I don't maybe three. I don't know. And then I got the little horse there. <laughs> it's a cute picture. Oh, I love these old pictures here. Here I am. They used to. Have, they used to. Have, what, what, this is the craziest thing to, to, to for kids. They used to have candy cigarettes. How nutsy was that? Candy cigarettes. I guess indoctrinate children to smoke. I mean, candy cigarettes and. Uh, everybody thought it was cute. Now I am, I guess I'm about maybe a year old there. And that was my little, uh, my little cowboy, uh, it was like a jail, a little, it was basically a card, a glorified cardboard box. But it was like, you know, like Wild West City. <laughs> I'm, I'm chewing on a candy cigarette. What a thing to get for kids. Here I am here. Nine, May 1954. I look like a happy kid. A chock full of nuts box filled with... I'm in the box. It looks like I'm in the box. No, I'm not quite... A, I'm on the far side. Here I am there. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> that cracks me up. <laughs> I was a cute kid. Here I am here, drinking a bottle. The, today, the bottle let me down. <laughs> Here I am with the drinking, drinking milk in the bottle. There's no date on that. <laughs> Cute kid there drinking, drinking his milk. Let's see what I got here. Here I am, happy-go-lucky kid. Here I am sitting in the living room. Happy go lucky kid. Not coming out crystal clear, but you get the general idea. See, if I put it straight on, I get, but if I put on a little angle, I don't get the reflection. And home stretch here. And here I am. About two years old, actually, actually two years old, Christmas 1955, the big Christmas tree, a lot of tinsel. Back in the 50s, they would put a lot of tinsel on the tree. They put more tinsel on than they would put, like, you know, Christmas bulbs and Christmas decorations and Christmas balls and stuff. <laughs> Cute kid. Let's see what else I got here. The Bluebird Diner from Mayberry. The blue actually went we went 
uh, we all went to Mayberry. Mom, Dad, Patty, and I, we went to Mayberry. That was fun. This is, the, oh, this is the newborn. And you can see my puppy Gidget there. That's the new barn. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a first. <laughs> you saw it first on Richard Maybe Presents. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, is that an omen? Is that an omen to wrap things up or what? Well, that's the first time that ever happened. Uh, here's the new barn. And there's my puppy Gidget right there. It's at the old maybe, maybe homestead, and uh, so I'm, I got I got a lot more here. I'll go through those later, but that was fun. Yeah, it's, I'm all crooked here. It's, it's like this is an omen. This is an omen to wrap things up. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up. That's the first time that has ever happened. The camera fell. It's like a poltergeist. So all right, I'm gonna close. Um, so. If you like, if you like this video, please smash the like button and please comment. I got to respond to comments and I've been really poor on that and I apologize for that. And also, um, oh, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the bell on the, hit the bell. It'll give you a notification when I put up new emails. And hopefully... It's busy out there today. Um, hopefully, uh, for my next show, I'll be able to get from, from A to Z without the camera falling. <laughs> that's the first. The first time that's ever happened. So, so I'm going to sign off. So, um, stay happy. Stay positive. Stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe. Signing off.